talked about Game of Thrones too much. I have a lot of other notes. Um, I went to see The Avengers on Saturday. Avengers Endgame. Um, I, I I didn't enjoy the first three Avengers. This one, I, I guess maybe I just wasn't expecting that much. So I, I thought it was fine. Uh, they they tried to incorporate like the past twenty all the movies and, and all the characters and they did a pretty good job <clears throat> like all the characters from the different movies showing up and oh the barrel <clears throat> I got worried when they're like oh, they're gonna time travel um, and that's gonna be the solution But they did that as good as they could have possibly. I mean, there's been so many. How do you toss it? There's been so many time travel movies. It's hard to. You just don't want to get stuck in the, in the explanation for too long. There's no way to explain it really. That's, unless you come up with like a super interesting new way to explain time travel. It's just like you go back in time and you change stuff and, that's it. I think I think that was fine. Um, I like how they ended Captain America's story instead of just killing him, which they could have. They I thought it made sense for his character to just stay in the past and, and want to live his life. I like that. I did, I did get a little emotional seeing Iron Man die. Um, and I like, they made a good relationship between Iron Man and Spider Man, even though they ha only had like two movies together. Um, I actually, s I didn't, I. I didn't see a lot of movies in theaters, I guess just because I didn't have friends to see them with. Um, but I remember seeing Iron Man in the theater. I guess it was a big deal. And I must, 10 years ago, I was like 15. I remember. Um, I think I just went with my mom. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, she, she she does like those kind of movies. Um, so sometimes we see them together. Like Star Wars, she 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 likes, and we'll I'll go to see it with them. So yeah. I, I, I don't know. And I remember liking Iron Man a lot, the first one. It's crazy it's only been 10 years. It feels like a long time. Uh, I guess... It's just hard to judge the movie by itself because it's it's so based on all the other ones. Uh, there's nothing. Uh, if you hadn't seen the other movies, these two movies are, you're not gonna like them. They're not gonna make sense. There's nothing in them 
Oh no, they're throwing stuff at them. Drop the barrel, drop the barrel. Ow. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Just distract them. Uh, I don't think Thanos is a really interesting villain. <clears throat> Especially in this movie, they don't really give him anything to do. Uh, so I don't know, it seemed like people liked him. That was one of the reasons why they like these movies so much, is like, Thanos is interesting. And but I never, his motivation and his character, I never thought was really interesting or made sense, really. <laughs> um, his reasoning doesn't really make sense. I talked about that before. Eat the barrel, Chico. He wants to make the world better by getting rid of half of the population because he's afraid the world's gonna run out of food but he's like why don't you just make more food because you could do anything you want uh, whatever that it, I think the problem is just that that gauntlet is is, is too ambitious of a thing <laughs> it's too powerful and it, there's too much once you introduce that it's like it needs so much explanation for why characters aren't doing things that they could be doing and once you have the gauntlet it seems like you should just be invincible you can do anything. You can stop time and you can reverse time and you can look into the future, whatever. I used to think that I didn't like the movie because there was too much stuff to think about. Too many characters and, um, but I like Game of Thrones, so I don't know why I wouldn't like this. Um, I think just my personal taste is I, I don't like when movies make too many jokes, I guess. I, I, if your movie's about superheroes, why not take it seriously? It, we all know it's a goofy concept, like superheroes aren't real, but wouldn't it be fun to take it seriously and, and to not to not joke like, I don't know, to have, to have Thor make jokes like, uh, I can't think of any jokes. I have a scene I remember where they try to lift Thor's hammer, and I know a lot of people liked it, but I think that's that's part of that's an example of like being being a little too goofy. Oh, there's guys down here. Trigo, eat them. Oh, oh, oh. Does he have any spears in him? So. Trico, calm down, Trico. Give him some pets.
I don't know, because I was thinking in The Force Awakens, they make a lot of jokes. But I still like that movie. But The Last Jedi makes a lot of jokes, and I don't like that one. I, I feel like the way they tell the jokes is different. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like if I explain it, I'll explain it wrong. If I try to explain it. My gut reaction is that the jokes are at the expense of the story. So in The Force Awakens, they make jokes like characters making jokes about a situation. Maybe they just don't do as many jokes as I remember. Uh, <clears throat> but you can also be too serious. Which is why I think I don't like the first season of The Leftovers. It's um it's a little too over dramatic right off the bat to start. Uh-oh. Where'd you go? So it's hard, to, it's hard to take something seriously when it's just too dramatic and you're not invested in the characters yet. So you're like, I don't really care, I guess, about these people. And they have this overdramatic music, and it's like, it's too much. It's teal, it's teal, it's teal stuck. Draco. You have to build to that kind of stuff. It's just a little too dramatic to start. Uh, which I think. Maybe the, the second two seasons do better. I don't know. When Captain America takes... Thor's hammer. I'm supposed to like cheer, I guess. I think it's kind of goofy. <laughs> I don't know. have to go here somewhere then you have to go over to the left somewhere because you have to get up to that chain I guess not Watching a lot of TV shows. I guess I have a lot of free time. <laughs> um, a lot of TV and movies. I talked about Deadpool. Oh, yeah, I have the HBO subscription. There aren't a lot of good movies on there from recently. What do I do? Uh, you have to be in here, I know. Oh, there it is.
jump. I'm gonna jump. you can't jump um, I, th I think I want to see that spider-man movie I like the first one a lot um, and I like Jake Gyllenhaal so but the trailer I watched I didn't the new trailer I didn't really like it I thought you were supposed to go out here I guess not but I've got to get over there. How do I do it? Okay, I think I'll stop here and try to figure it out. Sounds would be good for ASMR, but I don't. I don't think I have a good ASMR voice. I mentioned that before. I think it's too. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. The things that give me ASMR are like weird pronunciations of words and like weird accents and stuff so so maybe to some people I say words weird I don't know and that I did, I did say pronunciation didn't I okay I'll figure this out Oop. see you tomorrow